Welcome to Civic Education. In this uh, session, we are going to look at human rights. So, uh, first of all, you need to know how to describe or define human rights. What are human rights? So, human rights are legal entitlements that a person has by virtue of being a human being. Entitlement is a benefit that you are supposed to uh, uh, get uh, from a country, okay, from government. So when we talk about human rights, we are talking about uh, legal entitlements or legal benefits that a person has by just being a human being. You have those rights, okay? You, we are born with uh, human rights, okay? No one can uh, bestow human rights on you, but uh, people uh, can strive to protect, okay, and ensure that you enjoy those human rights. Others, because of different types of governments, these rights can be violated in one way or the other. I'll give an example of detaining someone, okay, uh, or considering someone guilty and you met punishment without investigation and taking the person to the competent court so that they can be found guilty or innocent. That is a violation of uh, human rights. So let us look at first the, 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 the history of human rights. How did they come up to be what they are today? So earliest, we have earliest documents proclaiming human rights. We have earliest uh, documents that uh, mentions or talks or emphasize on human rights. We have number one, Charter of Monday of 1222. This is year 1222. There is a document there. So it was the earliest document in Africa. So they ask such kind of questions, multiple choice question. So it was the earliest document in Africa where human rights were guaranteed by Sondiata Keta Mande, King of Mali, uh, the country Mali. This was a king in Mali. So the, he named the document uh, the Charter of Mande at his coronation when he was being installed as a, a king. So the document was written by elders. So this document was written by elders and wise men and association of the country commissioned by the king who drew up principles on how Marian Empire, that empire should be ruled. So it's more like he, he was doing a constitutional review commission, okay, uh, or constituents assembly where he assembled older people and wise people within his uh, empire and those people who had the goodwill association to his empire to come up with principles on how that Marian Empire should be ruled. So the introduction of document stress much on equality of human beings as follows. So they ask questions, the, the, the major uh, uh, component of this charter. So this was uh, every human life is life. That's how this uh, document stressed. So for this reason, nobody should do torment. To torment is uh, more like a, uh, to make someone pass through stressful situations, bad experiences. So uh, for this reason, nobody should do torment another human being. So the charter also addressed two evils. So they ask questions only the evils addressed by this charter. So the, the evils were hunger and slavery, so as follows. So hunger and slavery uh, is not a good thing. He considered these two evils as worse calamities. Calamities, they are disasters. So in short, uh, in, in short, the Charter condemned slavery and promised to eradicate all forms of hunger. They promised to eradicate all forms of hunger. So however, both uh, Magna Carta and the Charter of Monday were not universal. Okay, for they excluded women, children, slaves, and persons of certain social, religious, and economic and pro political groups. So they asked questions why this uh, charter was not universal. 
to be to be to, to, to be to be enjoyed worldwide because it left out the rights of women, children, slaves, persons with certain social, religious and economic and political groups. This question comes. Then the second document is uh, the United Nations United Nations Universal Declaration of Human Rights in 1948. So here when we are talking about human rights, please make sure that uh, you you master the time chart. What happened? So United Nations United Nations Universal Declaration of uh, Human Rights of 1948. So after the United Nations member states promised to respect human rights, uh, a commission on human rights was formed to promote the promise. So the commission was assigned to draft a document putting in writing uh, the meaning of fundamental rights and freedoms that had been declared in the charter. So the chair uh, commission, the chair of the commission was it, Elena Roosevelt, the wife of President Franklin Delano Roosevelt, President of the United States at that time in 1949. So this also comes the chair of this United uh, United Nations Universal Declaration of Human Rights was the the the, 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 the first lady to by then President of the United States of America, Franklin Delano Roosevelt, President of the US. So the wife was uh, Elena Roosevelt. This I've seen this in multiple choice questions. So the commission came up with the Universal Declaration of Human Rights, which was adopted to adopt to accept and make it legal on 10th December 1948. So this one also comes in multiple choice. It was here adopted in 10, on 10th December 1948. The UDHR is a set of principles by which United Nations members commit themselves to provide all people of the world with uh, human dignity. So human rights empower people to take action whenever the set standards are not met. So even if the laws of their country or leaders do not recognize them, human rights empower people to take action. So the introduction of uh, UDHR states that the recognition of uh, inherent, inherent means inborn dignity and the equal and the uh, inalienable rights of all members of human life is found is foundation of freedom justice peace and uh, peace in the in the world so the udhr emphasized on the freedom and justice for all people throughout uh, the country so this is what uh, uh, the introduction or the history of uh, human rights we have heaviest documents charter of monday United Nations Declaration of Human Rights of 1948. So in the next lesson, we'll be talking about the characteristics of uh, human rights. Thank you so much for your attention.